oldest classic of all, the St. Ledger Stakes. Here's commentator Graham Gould. Palace Gold goes in last of all. That's it. They're all installed, under orders, and they're away. With Care Poor off on the outside and Zylos going into an early lead. Tracked by Rivolino and Shem and then Muslab, the pacemaker for Derby second touching wood. And it's now Muslab who goes into the lead. Muslab the leader from Care Poor in second place, then touching wood, then Zylos, then Shem. Then Rivolino, then the favourite electric is next to the rails. Behind him, Rocca Mador, the back marker at this stage is Palace Gold. But Muslab out and clear. From touching wood in second place and Care Poor third. Then comes Rivolino in fourth, and behind him, Zylos. Then Lester Pickett on Jalmud, then Electric. And the back marker is Palace Gold. But Muslab going well clear, some 8, 10, 12 lengths clear of Touching Wood in second place. Muslab clear from Touching Wood in second, then comes Carepour third. Then Rivolino is in fourth place, and behind Rivolino is Zylos. Then next to the rails is Electric. And it's Muslab a long, long way clear making this a true test of stamina for Touching Wood, who in fact is leading the main group. So it's Muslab clear from Touching Wood in second place as they dip down the far side. And there is the main group of runners headed by Touching Wood with Born Hero just in behind him, Rivolino up on the outside. Then Norwick ridden along with the French challenger, Le Nangeon. Then comes Zylos, next to the rails is Electric, then Shem. Then comes Rocamador. Muslab though in the lead as they make their journey towards a halfway stage in the St. Ledger. Muslab clear from Touching Wood second then Rivolino on the outside of these is third and these are clear from Born Hero in, third, in fourth place but it's Muslab in the lead but coming back to his field touching Woody second, Rivolino is third these clear from Zylos who stayed on to be fourth now ahead of Born Hero fifth then comes Le and behind Le Nangione is Norwick. Le and the French Raider, making up ground, as to is Shem. But Muslab come right back to his field now from touching wood. Muslab in the lead as they begin the turn into the home straight. In this, the St. Ledger, just over five furlongs to go. Muslab in the lead from Rivolino in second, then Zylos is third. Touching wood on the inside. Behind these comes Rivolino. Then comes Norwick. Then Le Nangione just poking his head into the picture. Behind these comes Shem, then Broken Rail, who begins to pick up ground. Palace Gold is still the back mark and as they come to the point just four furlongs from home it's Muslab down the centre of the track with Rivolino next to the rails is touching wood just in behind these is Zylos the Nanjoon coming with a run Broken Rail coming with a run Rocamador in behind them so too is Born Hero just two and a half furlongs left to go in a very open race with touching wood next to the rails in the lead from Zylos touching wood from Zylos then Broken Rail with Diamond Shoulder unleashing a run down the centre of the track two furlongs left to go touching wood Zylos from Diamond Shaw, then Rocamador, then Norwick and Broken Rail. A furlong and a half left to go in the St. Ledger. And Zylos throwing down the challenge to Touching Wood. Touching Wood and Zylos inside the final furlong now. Touching Wood from Zylos and Diamond Shaw, then Norwick and Rocamador. Touching Wood staying on. Touching Wood in the lead from Zylos and Diamond Shaw and Norwick. Coming up towards the line. Touching Wood's going to win it. Coming up towards the line. Touching Wood is the winner. Zylos is second, Diamond Shaw third, Norwick four. Then Rocamador. Then came Jal Mood and behind Jal Mood came Kerpour, then Palace Gold, who stayed on. Behind Palace Gold was Broken Rail, then Born Hero, then Shem, then Lenangeon, then Revolino. Muslab and the back marker, last of all, was electric, a most disappointing run by him. And so the result of this, the St. Ledger, is a win for number 15, Touching Wood, owned by Maktoum Al Maktoum, trained at Newmarket by uh, Tom Jones, ridden by, superbly by Paul Cook, to give him his 67th victory of the season. And there he is congratulating Trevor Rogers, his stable companion. The tactics have paid dividends. A blistering pace was set by Touching Wood. Uh, a blistering pace was set by Muslab. Touching Wood benefited from it. He was the winner. Second was number 16, Zylos. And third was number four, which was Diamond Shoal. Fourth was number 11, Norwick. But let's review the closing stages with Bruff. Horse racing, particularly classics, is about finding out about what is inside horses. And they went really fast here, and they found out the doubts in a lot of these horses' stamina. Three out here. Uh, many horses seem to be going well, but they hadn't got any petrol left in the final furlong or so. Touching Wood, taken over from his stable companion. Paul Cook had had to push very hard. With the blinkers on, it had made things much easier. The horse then really responded. Uh, Zylos has run the race of his life, has chased him all the way to the line, but he's not going to get there. Touching Wood's going to come through. Diamond's shoulders on the outside. We thought he was coming with a really good run. But once again, he's tended to hang away, but he's run a tremendous race. Electric has presumably had a recurrence of his back problem because he's run far too badly to be true. 
But at this stage, it's only these two, unless they tie up. They're not going to. Rocamador, the hope of Epsom, has run a brilliant race along the inside. Diamond Show, as they come to this final furlong marker, is still, is still arriving. Broken rail there, too. Norwick as well. But here's Touching Wood into the final hundred yards, sticking his head out. We queried his resolution, really, but it was really only his laziness. With the blinkers on, he pushes his head forward, and it's going to be a historic day, this, because Paul Cook rides his first St. Ledger winner. But it's the first uh, classic winner for Dubai, and a tremendous performance here. Maktoum Al Maktoum's Colt comes home in front. Touching with the winner of the 206 St. Ledger from Zylos, and a lot of horses very tired behind him because they went a really strong gallop all the way, and that's what staying races are all about. And at last, the Derby form is vindicated because this fellow was second in the Derby, and he has won the most long lived classic of the season, the St. Ledger. The 206 winning of this historic race has gone to Touching Wood and the faith that uh, Tom Jones, there he is in the background, the trainer just to the right of the picture, has had in this horse has been completely vindicated, galvanized by the blinkers which really woke him up. He stayed on in tremendous style. Confirmation that the second horse home was number 16, Zylos, the third horse home, number four, Diamond Shoal, and the fourth horse home, number 11, North.